we're back at HP reInvent. I'm joined by Kyle, who's our HP expert. Kyle, what's your takeaway from the event so far? There were just a whole lot of announcements at HP reInvent this year. Um, the security announcements were really big. Um, there was some really interesting stuff about blocking unknown malware, which is a really unusual uh, security approach, uh, especially for a hardware company. Um, and there were some other security announcements also around analytics and just helping companies to you know, protect their endpoints uh, more effectively. And also some pretty cool products. I'm excited to learn a little bit more today about the VR headset. Uh, did you get a close look at that at all? I didn't get a, a close look at it, but I, I think it's, it's very promising just because there are so many companies that are spending so much money sending people around to get trained. And this headset really has the promise of, you know, you, you can just train people wherever they are with one of these headsets. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But how could partners get much out of that? I mean, all businesses are looking to save money and, and looking for solutions from, you know, from solution providers that are going to do that. So, um, you know, I think it's a, a good fit for the channel as far as I've seen. Yeah, you know, I've been stationed here for most, most of the event, but what are people talking about out in the show? I think that you know they're they're talking about the security. They're talking about you know the transition of services, um, devices as service is you know a, a big thing that a lot of partners haven't gotten into yet. But it, it, you know there could be some big opportunities there because that really seems to be where the future is going. Um, and also just you know HP is uh, you know really focused on millennials and Gen Z, and you know a lot of the partners are definitely looking for insights into these things. It's not necessarily their day to day to worry about you know what are the younger generations focused on, but HP really seems to be taking that role for them. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely agree with that because just think about yesterday, uh, we heard from Nina Garcia from Elle Magazine, and that's a perfect way to show the millennial demographic there with print. And then on the commercial side, you see HP Sprocket. I love HP Sprocket. Mm -hmm. That was my number one Christmas <laughs> gift <laughs> this year, and everybody loved it because once again, it makes print new again. Um, do you notice that partners are having any kind of hard time attracting a, a younger audience? I mean, I think that you know they're they're definitely always looking for any kind of leg up on you know what are what are the trends in you know technology and if you know HP is focused on okay so people are working more mobile now people are looking for more premium devices and that's really what HP is trying to deliver um, you know it, it just seems like a natural fit for solution providers to you know gravitate to these kinds of solutions. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, thanks so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you.